Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Ask Apogee Live. We are streaming live from the Apogee headquarters here in Santa Monica, California. And today, we are in the symphony room. Uh, I'm joined here by Jack. Uh, Jack is our symphony I.O. technician, and he has hand-assembled every symphony I.O. Mark II to date. That's right. Congrats, Jack, on Thank that. you. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> so um, we just thought it'd be really cool to show you guys um, our process of building Symphony I.O. and how that's done right here in Santa Monica. And um, so we're going to kind of take it down piece by piece, and Jack's going to kind of show you the process. Um, so the cool thing about Symphony is that it's a modular system, and so you can expand it to, as time goes on. And uh, today, Jack, what are we building today? So today uh, we have an 8x8 eight eight module here. Uh, made specifically for the Symphony Mark II. Mark II 8x8. Eight right. eight. And we have the uh, award-winning 8 mic pre as well, which will be connected with the 8x8. Eight eight. Nice. So yeah. we've got an 8x8 eight eight with 8 mic pre that we're going to throw in here. But um, we should note that you can put in whatever you want. You could put right. in a 2x6, 16x16. Six, 16 16. Yep. You could do a 32-channel system. So whatever you want. Um, and so, Jack, you custom build these, so right. every single unit is custom made, yeah? Absolutely, custom made and custom tested. So I hand build and test every single channel that goes in and out of the symphony before it gets to the customer. It's pretty cool. We'll talk a little bit about more about our, um, our testing procedures and how that goes. So uh, actually, I'm checking the computer now. So if anyone has uh, questions, um, and uh, wants to kind of learn, learn more or ask us live questions, I'm going to be monitoring uh, the feed here over to the side and answering any of your questions there. So, uh, yeah, if you have questions, feel free to ask them. Let's, yeah. uh, let's dive in. So let's we've got our Symphony I.O. Mark II chassis is our first uh, ingredient. Yep. Now, this chassis is preloaded, right? It's so you, you got this. It's got the main board. Here, we'll we'll, we'll uh, check it out here. This up so you guys can check it out. So we got the main board here. And so the main board is what has the FPGA, all of the kind of interfacing uh, technology. Um, over here, we've got the power supply. Yep. So you get the power supply off the side. And then tell us a little bit about more about uh, what you got in here, Jack. What, what, do right. we, what do we have? So the original symphonies first started with the uh, Thunderbolt connector here. Uh, so the Thunderbolt card is what will originally come with the symphony, but you can choose to get the Pro Tools HD version, or simply, if you want, you can have both. You can do both. So yeah. um, that's the cool thing about the Mark II is you can do Pro Tools HD, you can do Thunderbolt. Um, we'll have some more option cards available in the future, like Dante and SoundGrid for network systems. But So this is the loaded up chassis. This Correct. has got both Thunderbolt and Pro Tools HD, so you can switch between uh, both of them. So we've got our main board here. We've got our interfacing cards. Um, I'll take you through some of the cool things. So like on the front of the Symphony Mark II, We've got this kind of perforated grill, just kind of like, like the grill on the front of your car. And it serves the same purpose. The, the air is designed to filter through here over the cards. And then there's a super, super quiet fan in the back that you can see there. And uh, it'll, it'll kind of keep this guy nice and cool. Oh, yeah. Like a high performance car, a high performance yeah. converter gets nice and hot. Yep. So you've got to have good airflow and make sure Absolutely. it's all good. Yeah. Well, uh, let's do this. Let's uh, cool. let's start, Jack, with uh, with what do we got here? So we'll, sure. we'll put in the the we'll eight. Start with the uh, eight by eight. So you'll notice there is a uh, primary and secondary port here. So you want to make sure that you install the bottom board, which will be the primary board, which is the eight by eight here, on the bottom. Worth noting that Jack is uh, ESD grounded here, so yes, we're making sure he's got a nice anti-static coat. Both feet on the ground. Both feet on the ground, <laughs> ESD static. Um, cool. So right. um, now your Symphony I.O. and you buy it pre-configured will come just like this, but if you ever want to upgrade it, you can follow this same procedure um, if you want to add uh, modules in the future. So Correct. Um, so go for um, it. when we do have two modules, uh, we use these standoffs here, which kind of just screw in. You can do them by hand. Um, so you'll need nine of them to install the second module here. So I'm going to go ahead and install these nine standoffs. And anytime you buy a uh, Apogee module separately, you will have nine uh, not standoffs. Nine put. standoffs. You want to toss me one? Can yeah, I screw sure. in? Go I'm ahead. not ESD Help guys. Sorry here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to stay grounded, so let's screw in some of these. 
All right, so what's the trick here? You just kind of screw them in until they're about yeah, finger tight? Yeah, about finger tight, totally. Not too tight, not too loose. You want to also ground the module. So you want to make sure that's, it's nice That's and tight. right, make sure it's all grounded on there. So we just got those screwed in. Nice, we got our nine standoffs. Okay. Now, do you connect, uh, now this ribbon cable here, this is connect the connect converter to the card to the main board? Correct, and that's in the primary port here. You're going to snap Absolutely. that in nice and firm. And that's it. All right, Absolutely. so now we've got our 8x8. Now you want to put in the 8 mic pre. Now check this Correct. sucker out. This 8 mic preamp card is absolutely amazing. It has 85 dB of gain on each channel. Um, it's got full um, routing here so that you can actually do insert points. You can insert a compressor, EQ. That's what this whole routing section over here does. So tech award winning, beautiful sounding, really clean. If you're looking for like kind of a, a more clean, neutral, open sounding pre, um, so these the way to go. sound amazing. Absolutely. So, all right, I'll let you install that there. So, as you can see, there's also an additional uh, ribbon cable here, and this will actually slide underneath the board and connect to the 8x8 on the bottom. So, in order to do that, before you connect the mic pre, you want to make sure you remove the loop back. Uh, yeah, definitely. You want to make sure. That's you a good. All right. That. So, so the 8x8 and the 16x16 16 16 cards have this little loop Correct. back. Right. And so um, basically this is, this is what you would connect the mic pre to. Now, exactly. if you don't have a mic pre, you leave this in. Yes, or else. Um, but <laughs> if you do have a, a mic pre, you want to you take this thing out. Absolutely. So, cool, good so, to know. Little trick, I uh, want to make sure you remove the ribbon cable from the mic pre and connect it first, as so. So now you have the, uh, the ribbon cable ready for the mic pre once you lay that on top. It's like a cooking show here. We're uh, putting all the ingredients together. Now, uh, once we're done with this, we'll talk a little bit about the baking section of the uh, cooking show. So sure. there, there will be some, some baking involved today, yeah? Yeah. All right, yeah. so next you're going to screw the module into those standoff screws there. Excuse us, there'll be a little bit of, a little bit of screwdriver sound here. We'll answer uh, some of your questions here. So um, we have Dallas who says, can it work with Symphony IO Mark I? Uh, to answer that question, if you have a, a Pro Tools HD system, you can definitely use uh, Pro Tools HD, um, Symphony IO Mark I and Mark II in the same system. Um, or you could use the Symphony IO Mark I or the Mark II as a, a standalone converter. So you could connect them to the ADAT or the AES cards. Um, but if you want to connect them both together over Thunderbolt, you'll need uh, two Mark II systems. Um, another option, you could take your Mark I modules and actually install them in a Mark II chassis. We offer the Mark II chassis by itself. You can buy that from a dealer. Take your cards out of your old one, stick it into a Mark II, uh, and you're good to go. So, wow, that was fast. Yeah. So, so now we've got it here. We've got an 8x8 with eight mic preamps pre-installed. Now, at this stage in the production process, Now's where we stick them in the oven, right? Yeah, that's right. So, so this is uh, you, this is the burn-in rack you have back here. Yeah, we do. Uh, we'll go ahead and place it into this slot over here. How about that? All right. So every Symphony IO Mark II that we have is burned in for 24 hours. So we make sure that the cards get nice and warm. Um, we actually um, we burn them in without the lid on the top. So there's actually kind of natural uh, airflow going on to keep this thing nice and toasty. And we'll burn them in for 24 hours. Um, just to make sure all the components are nice and settled uh, and, uh, and all that. So you see these racks at any given time will have uh, dozens of Symphony IOs that Jack has built that are burning in, just uh, letting them go there. So, uh, yeah, we boot this guy up here. Sweet. And it's booting up, ready to go. Beautiful. Nice. Well done. Thank you. Built a unit. Now, you're not done. No. So after you put it on the burn-in rack, it will hang out here for 24 hours. Correct. Then what do you do after that? So immediately once it's been done, I take it over to my testing station where I will loop all inputs and outputs and run a simple session on logic and get signal through every single channel. And then that's where we'll check all the THD uh, meters and the levels to make sure that every channel is where it needs to be. So the goal with Symphony IO Mark II is to make sure that the total harmonic distortion, so of course we want the lowest amount of total harmonic distortion right. plus noise. And so every, you test every single channel, every single channel to make sure they are at our spec or lower. Right. 
The, do, you, do you have that number off the top of your head? It's, uh, it's about minus 110. Minus 110 at, at, at minimum. Right. But so everything is, is uh, bare minimum uh, yeah. below that. And uh, that's on the input stage, and we check the output stage as Correct. well. And so um, that's, that's pretty awesome. So you'll know that every single channel of the, of the Symphony I.O. is, uh, is tested. Uh, and so then if that ever happens, so if you do have a unit that, uh, you know, doesn't pass your test, you take that module out and that gets sent back to the factory, right? Correct. So that, that unit is recycled and, mm -hmm. and so every single thing you got to make sure is, is totally perfect. Absolutely. Now, once it's done burning in, uh, can you take us through the next step? So once you're done burning in, we'll unplug it and then mm -hmm. you finish it off, right? There's, Correct. there's the finishing touch. There's the finishing let's, touch. Let's get sure. this going here, yeah. okay? <laughs> so um, we'll uh, unplug the... Uh, Unplug the symphony here, and we'll put the lid on. Now, you also do a little bit of polishing. We oh, got we, we got some polish here. Yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, get our lid, and if you can, I'll grab the lid, and if you'll grab the uh, the polish, so we'll line this up. Spray our spray our cloth a little bit here. All right, nice. So so. Not only is every unit kind of hand tested, but we do make sure that it's all perfect and that uh, we give it a good wipe down to get sure. uh, any kind of uh, fingerprints or anything mm -hmm. kind of from the factory is, uh, is all kind of wiped off and that the screen here is, uh, is all perfect. So we'll screw this all in together. And um, so, uh, so kind of like, like the cooking show here, I don't know if we want to screw in everything here. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> But yeah, so you get it all, all kind of finished yeah. and, and good to go. Everything will look mint before. And it gets now, into are the box. there any uh, finishing touches on uh, on the Symphony <laughs> IO when, when you're done? Well, you know, what, after I'm done testing a unit and it's just where it needs to be and it's ready to go, uh, I like to sprinkle it a little bit yeah. with uh, some of that. So. so you know, Finishing. finishing touches. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so tell us the, the, the finishing touch here. Yeah, now, this is our, our resident uh, symphony bay here. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're done, you're done, you, uh, what, what's, your, what's your process? So of, uh, I'll finally? just get about a handful of screws, just the right amount. Yeah, and yeah. I like to just hold it right over here. Yeah, and, you just, you know, just, 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 just trickle a little bit. Just trickle a over. little bit. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> and then that's pretty much helps complete. The entire, <laughs> the entire unit, you just sprinkle it sprinkle with a special sauce. a little sauce. bit, absolutely, and, just the right amount. And, and, and you're good to go. But yeah. uh, no, Jack, man, thanks, thanks oh, for showing us. Yeah, um, you know, if you guys have any any questions at all about uh, Apogee or about Symphony IO Mark II, um, please comment uh, down below. Visit our website apogeedigital.com and click on the chat with an Apogee expert button, or um, with the uh, Ask Apogee button, you can send us an email that way. But hope this was informative. You guys can learn how we hand build every single Symphony I.O. and uh, build them all with, with love and care here in Santa Monica. So thanks, Thank Jack. And uh, we'll catch you guys all next week.